our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Good afternoon, Miss. Would you be interested in buying more life insurance? You know, you can never get enough. I think my husband has some. Are you sure he's purchased enough insurance for both of you? If something terrible happened with your husband, and he doesn't have sufficient insurance, my company does have a policy that could cover you and your husband if something happened to either of you. That's true. If something happened to my husband, I might lose everything. Both of us have to work to keep our home, car, and our children's education. I can't afford that by myself. Could we sit and look at the policy I mentioned and see if that's something suitable for you and your husband? Certainly. That price of ours, by the way, is for a minimum quantity of 1,000 saddles. Yes, I noticed that. To what extent would local assembly help sales, did you say? 20 to 30 percent. But we proposed the plan from the storage and delivery viewpoint. That is to say, less warehouse space and prompt delivery. Yes, of course. Assembly would be quite a simple matter. Cycle dealers could put them together in a very short time. Sales have been exceptionally good during the past 12 months. Yes, I've noticed that. Where have you been placing them? All in the local market. One or two suggestions that came in from the distribution might interest you. Yes, what were they? Anything that will help sales? Perhaps. General opinion is that the rear carrier should be offered as an extra. That's to keep the price down, I suppose. I'll take it up with our overseas department and listen to what they've got to say about this. Thanks. I understand we will need seven air conditioning units on the two floors. That's what you think, yes? Yes. You could use five or six units. But five or six wouldn't be very efficient. I recommend seven. And if we take the Decker units you suggested, what would the price be? Let me calculate the price for you. I can give you a 15% discount if you buy the seven units. Let's see here. Your total would be $5,929. Isn't there any way we can get central air conditioning in this building? As I said, it is possible, but it would be much more expensive. I think it would be at least $12,000 to do a complete system. That's too much. We need to use the separate units, I guess. It's more practical, and the new units really are very quiet. Your customers won't even notice them. So you say we can do it for $6,000? Yes, that's for the units. Installation would probably be another $700 to $1,000. But it depends on the time spent, of course. You mean installation isn't included? I'm very surprised. No, ma'am. Installation isn't included. The price I quoted was just for the units. In Taipei, you know, the company usually installs the things they sell. They don't charge extra. I know that, ma'am. But they would just raise the price of the units to cover their costs. Here in LA, Installation is charged separately. Yes, I suppose I should get used to it. But I'm not really willing to spend more than $6,000 for this. We haven't even opened yet. I understand, ma'am. And the other company that gave me a quote on this said they could do it for $4,000. It's a question of quality, ma'am. 
At that price, you would not get good equipment. I've been in this business for almost 20 years. I know what happens. If you don't get quality air conditioning now, you will just have to replace the system after two years. I will tell you what I can agree to. If you can quote me a price of $6,000, installation included, I can accept. Well. You do seem like a better company than the other one. So I am willing to pay more than $4,000 for you. But I won't pay more than $6,000. Well, we don't usually do it, but I believe we can accommodate you on this. We will do the installation for free. Because we appreciate your business. Good. I hope we can arrange the contract as soon as possible. Good day to you. How can I be of service today? Hello. I'd like to open a foreign currency account. I see. Well, this bank offers many different accounts of this nature. There are seven to choose from. Oh dear. I wanted a UD. Is that not possible? Well, you could change your Australian dollars into, say, British pounds and then open an account. How does that sound? Maybe I'll go for the US dollar account. Hello, this is Eba Bank. Maria speaking. How may I help? Hi, I'm looking into your loans and I'm a little confused about the interest rates. Could you give me some advice? Not a problem. Which loan was it you were interested in? Sorry, I must ask, because the interest rates can depend on the type of loan you apply for. I understand. I'm interested in the petty consumer loan. One of our most popular. The usual interest rate is fixed by the PBC. That is the People's Bank of China. But of course, with some loans, credit rating and loan amount come into play, too. So. The rate could fluctuate a little, depending on the amount given by the PBC? That is correct. I'm going to have to do some more research into this. Thanks for your help. Bye for now. How large is the plant? It covers an area of 75,000 square meters. It's much larger than I expected. When was the plant set up? In the early 70s. We'll soon be celebrating the 30th anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. How many employees do you have in this plant? 500. We're running on three shifts. Does the plant work with everything from the raw material to the finished product? Our associates specializing in these fields make some access, rise. Well, here we're at the production shop. Shall we start with the assembly line? That's fine. Good morning. Ah, hello. Do you have a service for buying traveler's checks? Yes, we do. How can I help? I can give you a simple introduction, if you'd like. That would be wonderful. We usually recommend our clients buy US dollar traveler's checks, as they can be exchanged for local currency all over the world. They are certainly the most versatile. But what if something happened to them? What would happen to my money? As soon as you purchase your traveler's checks from us, you are covered. No matter if you lose them or they are stolen, we will replace them promptly. All we ask is for you to write down the reference number of each check and keep it in a safe place away from the actual checks. We will need that number if you need to make a claim. Okay. I'd like to purchase 500 US dollars worth of traveler's checks, please.
Good afternoon. Can I be of service? I don't know. Can I purchase treasury certificates here at this counter? Yes, of course. We have treasury notes with two, three and five year terms available. Two years is fine, with a value of 1,000 rib. Okay. Could I take a look at some ID please, like a passport? Here you go. By the way, is it possible to cash them before the maturity comes up? No, I'm afraid that isn't possible. You must wait until maturity before you cash them. What can I do for you, madam? Can you help me with comprehensive credit granting? Certainly, madam. What would you like to know? Well, everything really. All right. We can grant a financing promise quota, if you qualify. This means that we can deal with all of your needs in a speedy and efficient way. Firstly, your credit rating must be Class A, and your debt-to-asset ratio must be top-notch, for the industry you are involved in. Good afternoon. How can I be of service today? My company wants to become involved in your comprehensive credit granting. We are a very young company and I'm not at all sure if we meet your credit requirements. It is possible to take into account special circumstances, should the manager agree to it. If your credit rating has been Class A in your initial trading period and your debt-to-asset ratio is sound, and then I'm sure the manager will see you to discuss it further. I'll set up a meeting for you. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for all of your help. Mr. Smith, I have been doing some industry research and was shocked to learn that the average salary for a position that is similar to mine pays on average $2,000 more per year than IMC. What are you basing this information on? First and secondary research. I hope that you can address this concern immediately as I find it very disturbing. Yes, I will. We are very happy with your performance and want to continue our woodworking relationship. I wish the same. As such, I hope you will seriously consider a pay increase. Let me take this up with the director and get back to you immediately. Welcome to China, Mr. White. How do you do, Ms. Kai? Welcome to this corporation, Mr. White. Won't you please sit down? Thank you. Our representative in your country faxed a letter that you showed an interest in some of our products on display at the October exhibition there. Now we'd like to know if you have any specific requirements in mind. Yes. We have. I've brought with me a list of the quantity of your products we'd like to import for the second half of this year. Here is a copy of it. Good. Well, Mr. White, most of the items listed are available this year. I hope we can come to an agreement and sign the contract soon to enable timely delivery. I hope so, too. Now I'd like some of your sales literature and a price list for all of your export articles. Here are our catalog and price list. The catalog lists all the commodities we export, and the price list gives indicative prices for all our export articles. Thank you, Ms. Kai. What are your normal export terms? We normally export CFR. What commission do you usually pay for your exports? As you know, we import on commission basis. That can be discussed. All right. When can we meet again for more specific details, Ms. Kai? What about tomorrow morning at 9? I'll come over to your hotel. I'll be expecting you, then. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.